Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna do a review and overview of this 12 GPU server case. This is an Octominer 12 Ultra. Stay tuned and see why this might be one of the best server cases for mining. Let's not waste any time. Let me get this lid off. I already have the screws removed. So I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna take a look at the inside of this. And I'll get a camera in a second and we'll get real up close and personal. Before I flip it up, you can already see the five fans that it has in the front and we're gonna listen at those later in this video. But for right now, just take a look at the inside and you can see the motherboard tucked right under here, right? And a custom backplane board, which comes across here. And that gives you the 12 slots that you need for all 12 GPUs. Power supply situation is right here. We're going to take a look at that because it's got a custom board both here and one for the front I.O. as well. So why don't I do this? I'm going to grab a camera and we're going to get real up close and personal with this. Let's start over here. We got the motherboard with its CPU, RAM and everything else there and two full PCIe slots. And that connects to this backplane board, which you can see has the rest of the 10 PCIe slots there. And you got the fans in the front of the case. And then let's look at the IO in the back here. So you got USB, onboard HDMI, ethernet, everything you need right there to get up and going. And right above that is the power supply situation. So you can see those three server power supplies, which is really, really cool. Let me take one out and we'll see what we got. So looking like we have a HP 1200 watt server power supply. So that's really cool. We got three of those in here and these just slot right in and connect there. And those connect to this, I guess what it is a custom board that connects all those power supplies together. And you can see right here, and that is what powers all your GPUs or all these PCIe slots. It's also got a custom front panel IO. We'll take a look at that. It's got an SSD right in the front for easy access. Slot that out and in if you need to make any changes. USB on the front, power reset buttons, bunch of lights, which will give you information, a custom LCD, which we'll take a look at all that more once we get it powered on. You see all the fans in the front. And that's it. That is a overview of this Octominer 12. So let's get a GPU in and get this thing powered up. So I got a few GPUs here we're gonna take a look at. This is an XFX 6600 XT. We'll get slotted up in there just to take a look at spacing. And then some of the bigger cards I like to test. This is a For the Win 3 3090. And then the biggest card I think I have is this Asus Strix 3070 Ti. And we'll see how that fits in there too. So let me switch over to the top camera. We'll do some slotting of those GPUs and then we'll get this thing fired up. Let's start with the 6600 XT. We're going to slot that in the first slot on the motherboard. There we go. That was easy. And then we'll move on to the For the Win 3090. And we'll slot that a little, a little further down here so you can see some spacing. So we got that slotted in. And then we're going to go to the biggest card that I have right now, which is the Strix 3070 Ti. I'm going to put it right next to the For the Win so you can see how they size up next to each other. And there we go. I got that one slotted in there. So first thing I'm really excited about is that this card actually fits. So I can get good amount of clearance between the fans in this card. So that is awesome. And then looking at spacing between them, I mean, pretty standard for these size cards from the server cases I've seen. I think plenty of space uh, to get some air moving through those cards. So looking really good there. It's time to fire this thing up. I have the 6600 XT in there. And now it does come with this adapter cable, which will go to those three server power supplies to a C19. You also can just power them regularly, which is what I'm doing right now for the sake of this video. Let me turn off noise suppression on my mic so you can hear exactly what I hear when I fire this thing up. All right, noise suppression is off. It's time to fire it up in three, two, one. So you can hear those fans, right? Probably sounds like I'm in a wind tunnel. I mean, look at my shirt right now. There's so much air coming this way, which I think is probably the superior way to have the fans oriented in a server case. That means that it's pulling in air and sending it through the cards and exhausting out this way, which should keep the cards cooler in my opinion. So 
HiveOS is booting up right now. You can see it on the screen. Let me switch over there and we'll take a look at some of the custom features that this OctoMiner has with HiveOS. So we're in HiveOS to take a look at the custom HiveOS features built for this OctoMiner. But before we get into that, a little bit more about this OctoMiner. So you can see for CPU, it's got a G4400 built in. It's got a 60 gigabyte SSD in the front that I showed you earlier in the video. And it has eight gigabytes of RAM built in. But what I'm really excited to show you are some of the custom built-in features in HiveOS. So you can see the external fan speeds reported right here. You can see the intake and exhaust air temperatures. It has environment sensors built in and then power supply air temperatures for both intake and exhaust. And a lot of that information is also displayed on the display on the front of the OctoMiner, which you can see right down there. Beyond that, you can see up in the toolbar here, there is the OctoMiner logo. And if I click on that, we have some additional features. One of them that I think is really cool is to turn on the white LED to find the rig. If I apply that, what will happen is one of the LEDs, the white one, will turn on on the front here. Maybe you have these in a server farm. You have hundreds or thousands of them. This allows you to quickly walk down your aisle and identify what rig you want to be working on. Additionally, it has uh, settings to control the case fan. So you can set a manual fan speed or automatic fan speed. There's one thing I want to cover before editing this video, and that's how to actually buy one of these because it's not that easy. Maybe you got to this point in the video and you fell in love with this thing just like I did. From what I can tell, there are two ways to buy an OctoMiner. I'm going to show them to you right now. So OctoMiner's official website is the first place. It's actually a beautiful website, by the way. But let's go over here and we're going to go to shop. And we're going to choose this same one that I have in front of me, which is this X12 Ultra. And you're going to look and say, wow, those prices are really good considering everything that you get. One of the issues you're going to run into if you're a home miner like me is that the minimum order order quantity is 10. So you got to buy 10 of these. So maybe that's fine. Maybe you're like, hey, I have 10 open air frames. I'm ready to convert everything over. So let's add all 10 to the cart. Still looking really affordable, $809. And let's go to check out and see how much shipping will be to get these over to where I am in the United States. So you can see here, 20 to 35 day lead time on shipping will cost about $2,000. So before taxes, you're looking at 10 grand for 10 OptiMiners. So you're looking at like $1,000 per. So what I would recommend is just really sitting down and figuring out if that is what you want to do. There is another place that you can buy these from directly, and that is minordude.com. They sell the Octomon. You can buy just one of them. So I have one in my cart. Let's go check that out. So you can see they are $13.99. And then for shipping, you're going to add for home delivery from FedEx another $128, bringing your total before tax to a little over $1,500. So that's it, guys. That's my review and overview of this Octominer X12 Ultra. I think this thing is awesome. I love the custom features built in a Hive OS. I love the power supply setup. I love the display on the front giving you reportings of temperatures and sensors. I think that all those things are just so cool. All the little bells and whistles really set this apart from its competition. The only downside is that they're really hard to get. So hopefully in the future, there can be some opportunities for people like you and me to pick these up in smaller quantities at an affordable price. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh